is up, what's up? What is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the ultimate cheating guide for Farming Simulator 22. Well, I've been meaning actually to do this video for a while. I'm just going to say this, though. I don't usually use cheats on the game, but I know some of you guys do, and some of you guys would like to know some ways you can actually do kind of some cheats on consoles. This is mostly catered toward console players. So if you're on the Xbox or if you're on the PlayStation, so this is catered towards you. I'm gonna be showcasing basically two different kind of money cheats you can use on this game and two different harvesters that you can actually use to actually make harvesting a lot more faster in the game. So first thing we're gonna get to is of course the money cheats. But before we get there, make sure to hit that like button, guys. So if you're enjoying these kind of videos, definitely hit that like button. Let's try to get at least a thousand likes on this video. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button and also ring that bell. Post videos on the channel every single day. Okay, with that done, now let's get to the first cheating method, the money one. Okay, we're gonna need a mod for this one. Let's go over to here. Let's go under gameplay and all the way at the bottom, there it is right there. Government, not even going to finish this. Uh, but anyways, you first one, you can get $100 million per year for that one. And the second one, the municipal one, you get $100,000 per year. This is probably one of the easiest ways to cheat money into the game. Because I know a lot of people would love to have unlimited money so they can you know, test out this vehicle or buy this land. I mean, play this game any way you want. So let's go over into the game and take a look at this. Okay, so let's start up a new game real quick. Let's go to career, empty slot. Let's go to farm manager and let's go to a new map that just came out not too long ago, American Falls. Uh, so the thing you will have to have activated on this is the government, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and oh, it's requiring another mod. So let's go ahead and download that. And we're gonna get into the map and then we can show the way of how to actually get tons and tons of money into the game. Okay, downloading, that was actually pretty fast. Right, so let's go ahead and get into here. Okay, so you see at the top of the screen, we have $1.5 million. And now on this map, all we actually have is a trailer and a truck. But we want more money than that, right? Okay, so where can you find this? There's two different ways you can get into the build menu. Uh, you can either by holding the LB and pushing your option or menu cut button on your Xbox controller or the L1 with the touchpad to get to it, just like that or you can go right into your build menu, I'm oh, sorry, your shop menu, and then go to construction. So where can you find these signs? Go to production, go to generators, and they are right there. So we have two of them. One of them gives 8,400 per month, and another one gives 8.4 million a month. These are one slot a piece, because of course on console you have slots. So let's go ahead and just put in this one begin oops i don't own the land so i have to buy the land so you have to make sure you own the land where is i think it's right here yeah there we go okay so i just spent three hundred twelve thousand dollars for that piece of land uh, let's go back over here to production generators and this one remember 8400 so let's just go ahead and put put that right there and let's go ahead and start fast forwarding time Oops, that saves. There we go. Okay, now watch the top of the screen. As soon as it hits that hour, we're going to be getting some money. You get money every single hour. Okay, maybe you don't. 1187. Used to be. Yeah, there. Well, yeah, there. Okay, it's going up little by little. Yeah, 8,400 or whatever, pretty much a month. Yeah, see, it's going up a little. Okay, like if I actually fast forward it through here, let's go to 8 o'clock. And to the next day we go, and we're going to have how much money? You hear that ding? Okay, there we go. 5,600 for property income. Let's go ahead and slow the time down. So... We got a little bit of money off of that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this now. Okay, there you go. You just have to click demolish and you can get rid of it. Okay, go to production, go to generators, and now the big one, the 8400. Let's just go ahead. Let's get two of them. Why not, right? Okay, now let's go to fast forward time. Oops, not 240, I need 360. Now take a look at the top. 
You see how fast it's going up now with the bigger one? So if you put like just a few of these signs down, you'll be rich pretty fast. Yeah, 2.5 million now. Let's let's just go ahead and just put down a f just a few more, right? Five million. What's it gonna get to now? Eight million. Okay, you see how fast it goes up. Okay, there's a storm coming. So it actually goes up pretty fast. Okay, let's go ahead and slow down the time. And let's get rid of these now. So that is the one, the first way of actually getting unlimited money. This is probably the easiest way to get unlimited money. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save the game. And we're going to back out. Okay, before we get to the next method of actually cheating in unlimited kind of money, I want to also put it out there if you actually want to do the complete opposite. You know, actually you want to take away the money so you can pay, play like a survival series. Uh, go to download content, go to gameplay, and then there's this mod called Start From Zero. And how this works, okay, usually if you play on New Farm, you start off with 100,000. Farm Manager, 1.5 million. Start From Scratch, 500,000. Well, what this does is when you enter the game, you can sit there and as you see right there, there is an invisible thing uh, like square you put down. And once you go that first hour, it's going to get rid of that money for you. So there's one for the 100,000, one for the 1.5, one for the 500. And then if you don't own the land like we just didn't, there's actually one bag. I mean, a big bag of one liter stones that can actually be bought if you don't own any land for 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. 500,000 and 1.5 million, which probably be the best way right there. So you can easily go ahead and do that. And then guess what? You have a start from scratch with nothing. Okay, now let's get to the second method of getting unlimited money. Okay, for this method though, since you're on console, you will either need a PlayStation Live account or you need the Xbox Gold, which I believe it's, I think it's called Xbox Core now. I might be mistaken. But anyways, you need to have, you know, Basically, that subscription to actually be able to actually get online and play with friends. Okay. With that being said, let's get to this now. Okay. So, go to multiplayer. Go to create game. And there's our save we just had. So, let's go ahead and go to there. Um, we don't need that anymore. So, let's just load up the map because you don't need really any mods or anything like that. Let's go ahead and start the game. And, of course, it's got to connect onto the server. And the game is now loading. So as soon as we get in the game, I'll show you guys what you have to do. Okay, that was pretty fast, right? Okay, game is now loaded. Okay, of course, we're back in here. Okay, we have $0 because we did not join our farm. So let's go ahead and get onto this farm. Now we have $8.5 million. Okay, so how this cheat works, you go over to your farms right here. You go ahead and create a new farm. So let's go ahead and create a farm. You know, let's let's create a little few more farms. Let's create another farm. Let's create another farm. Let's create another farm. Another one. Another one. Another one. Okay. So there, that's how many you can have right there. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight farms on here. Each of them have one point five million dollars. But you want that all into just this one main farm account that has eight point five, right? All right. So what you do is you go to where is it at? Give me my save. Okay, there we go. Save your game. Saving content. Please do not turn off your console. Okay, quick game. Go to career. Okay, there it is right there. Click on that. And now we're going into single player, which is going to take a second to load up like it always does, depending on how many mods you actually have. And there it is. Didn't actually take that long. Now it says the farms from this multiplayer game have been merged into a single farm. After saving the game, will become a single player game permanently. No, it won't. Okay. As you see from the top right there, we now have $19 million. Pretty good amount of money, right? Okay, we can go ahead and save the game because now it's converted over to a single player game. Quit game. Multiplayer. Great game. Go to that one. Start it back up. E yeah. 
Hold on a second. Uh, I went to the wrong one. I went to. I need join game. There we go. Okay. Did I go the right one? Oh, great game. There we go. Okay. There we go. And now we're going back into it. Of course, it's got to connect onto the server. Okay, connected again. Okay, we're basically doing the same thing we just did. Great farm. Great farm. Great farm. Great farm. All the way till you get to the seventh one. And now let's go ahead and save the game. There we go. Career. Of course, we're going to go back in here. And guess what? All that money we're going to have again. You need to keep doing this over and over and over again until pretty much you have as much money as you want. I mean, I don't think I could spend $20 million in this game. Pretty sure you guys can, though. See, it does take a minute to load up. See, and there we go. And, of course, we get that message again. And we have $29.5 million. Which, don't forget, every time you do this, save your game. So, that right there, guys, is basically the two methods of getting unlimited kind of money in Farming Simulator 22. Let me know what you guys think. And let me, let me know which method you guys think is the easiest. Method 1 or method 2. Let me know in the comments section below. Okay, now for this next part, I'm actually going to show you guys a few harvesters to make harvesting a little bit more faster in the game. Okay, now welcome to the harvester section. Okay, first of all, we're going to need two mods for this. So let's go download the content. Let's go over to the harvester, and there they are right there. The first one we have is a brand new one that just came out not too long ago, and that is the Reaper 2000 harvester. This is from Mac Trucker 921 uh, Let's see. Uh, of course, we're going to go over all of this stuff right here which there is a lot of stuff on that one. And then, of course, we got the other one, which is the Colossus Harvester Pack. Uh, this one is from Chris S. and Riley S. It is 84.11 megabytes. And this actually includes just not, you know, just not a harvester. It actually includes a sugar beet harvester, a cotton harvester. I believe it also has, uh, what else does it have? Uh, does it have a potato harvester? I think it has a potato harvester, too. Oh, it has a root crop harvester, sorry. Uh, corn headers for it. I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff with these mods. So let's get into a map and actually take a look at this. Okay, so here we go. Here is both of the harvesters, but we're actually going to take a look at these in the store first. Okay. And I highly suggest if you're going to use one, use both of them. Mainly if you use the Reaper, you definitely need the Lizard Colossus pack to have the headers because the Reaper Harvester does not come with its own headers. And the problem with that is if we go to combinations is, guess what? They only do the regular speed. So if you want to do, you know, that fast, fast harvesting, you're going to need uh, some of these headers right there. Okay, but anyways, let's go over the Reaper 2000 first, which is the brand new one. Okay, so here we go. Also, just want to say that, you know, if you don't want to use these as cheats, you don't have to use these as cheats because they do have like regular versions. Because like with this one. Uh, if you don't don't want to do that fast farming or anything like that, you can easily just get a header that only does six miles an hour. So, yeah, it's going to limit you. Okay, but anyways, it's five hundred ten thousand five hundred dollars, so it's not a cheap harvester at all. Okay, capacity though, you got standard, which is fourteen thousand four hundred. You got the unrealistic capacity one, which brings it up to two hundred and fifty thousand liters. You got the unrealistic capacity two, which brings it up to five hundred thousand. You've got the three, which brings it up to seven hundred fifty. You've got the four, which brings it up to 1 million liters. That is crazy. Five, 1.5. 1 uh, and then, of course, you got the standard capacity extension pipe, which this all this does is basically just extend the pipe. Let's see, unreal. And then back to standard. Okay, it's up. You got the 800, which is so much horsepower. Let's see. I'm trying to find it. It is 825. 1500, which is 1520. Uh, the 2000, which is 2050 2, horsepower. And then back to there. Wheel brands, you got Trailboard, you got Michelin, you got your Continentals, you got your Midas, you got BKT, you got your Fridistine, you got a bunch and bunch of tires, including. Wow. Okay, I did not know it had that. Wow. And then back to there. Really nice, though. Uh, unit number decals, you got all the way from one all the way up to nine on there. You can change the decal color from white, black, or there we go. Brands. You can actually change the brand of this one. You got Lizard. You got the KSIH. You got the Mossy Ferguson. You got Fent. You got Challenger. You got Grimmy, which I don't think I've ever seen a Grimmy actually uh, regular harvester. I don't know. Uh, LED strobe options. There is tons, and I am not going to go over all of them. 
Uh, if you guys want to take a look at those, you guys can. I will show you guys some strobes later on. Windows, you got all the way from standard all the way to 10 style 3, which just makes it a little bit darker. The Reaper body decals. This is pretty cool, actually. You got none. You got type 1. You got type 2. You got type 3. I love these. And then type 4. Uh, let's see. And then, of course, you can change the colors of pretty much everything. So if you know you pick that case, you can easily, you know, change this all the way to case colors, which is right there and change this to case colors. See, and then we got a case harvester. Just got to change. Uh, Where's it at? Brands over to case. And there you go. Case case Reaper. And of course, you have to have the, the decal. I don't know which decal I like better. I kind of like that one. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Okay, but anyways, that is the Reaper 2000. Other one we have is the Lizard Colossus Harvester Pack, which includes the Colossus Harvester, uh, headers, corn headers, uh, trailer, draper. Uh, then of course you got the Root Harvester, which does sugar beets and potatoes. Which I'm pretty sure when the carrots do come out, he's gonna probably make a cheat one for that one. Uh, you got the potato header. You got potato header unrealistic, sugar beet header, the sugar beet header unrealistic. Uh, root header trailer, and then of course the new ones they got is the cotton harvester. All right, anyways, some of the options on this one: you got configuration colossus, you got the unrealistic, which brings it from 15,000 liters all the way up to 30,900. Uh, you got the unrealistic two, which is 72,600. The large, which is 19,000. The unrealistic large, 250, 500, 1 million. And then back to there again. Okay, engine steps. You got all the way from the 9,000, which is 900 horsepower, all the way up to 1,800, which is the flat map edition. Uh, let's see. Got different kind of tires on there. Got Terra tracks, crawler tracks, duels, so different kind of options. You got US and EU. See right there. I actually like how you can see right back there. It's pretty nice. Beacons, you got halogen, you got whites, you got specials, yellows, purples, pinks, Christmas. Okay, I did not see the Christmas colors. Oh, they got Halloween. I should have picked the Halloween for the, for the one I was going to show off. Dang, that would have been perfect. Might actually have to do this one in stream. Uh, window tent, you have standard, medium, dark, red, and there's a whole bunch of colors on that. Main colors, different colors on that. Same thing with design and frame and the rim color. Okay. So there is the harvester. And of course, like I said, you got the Titan header and the Titan header unreal. If you're planning on doing fast farming, guys, you have to use the unreal. Because as you see from the bottom right there, it says 60 miles an hour. So if you use this one, it has 10 mile an hour uh, speed limit. Uh, then of course, same thing with the uh, with the corn headers. And then the same thing with the draper headers. That's why there's two different versions. In case you want to play realistically or unrealistically. And then, of course, you got the same thing with potato he header. You can actually go 46 miles an hour actually doing root crops. Wow. Uh, and then, of course, that one, you can actually do 40 miles an hour do cotton. Okay. Anyways, let's get to these. So we have right over here, we have the, the Reaper and then we have the Colossus. Okay. I'm just going to warn you guys. I'm going to be showing these off a little bit. If you have any problems with strobes, this is the time to probably shut off this video because there is a lot of strobes with these. All right, let's actually go ahead and get in the Colossus real quick. I'm not going to really show you any kind of options or anything in this. I'm just going to show you guys how to do the fast farming. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops, start the engine. Let's go ahead and fold that up. And we have to unfold this. See, there's the strobes on this one. Really nice. This is the special strobes. And then let's go ahead and just start harvesting. I'm going to show you guys what we're meaning by fast farming. At least fast harvesting. As you see right now, I am going over 30 miles an hour. It stop, and I hit the building, of course. But this thing can do about 60 miles an hour of harvesting, so you're gonna get done with the field really, really fast. Okay, now the next one. Let's get into this one. Let's go ahead and turn that engine over on this. Uh, unfold. Nice. Here's the interior of this. Okay, this one definitely has some strokes. Here we go. This is the pink one, pink and purple one. Look at that. Think someone's going to be able to notice that you're coming? <laughs> right, let's go ahead and turn on harvester. See, 
this one's a little bit slower compared to the other one. This one will only go 29 miles an hour because that's the header. And there we go. And of course, going to make a big path right there. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the headers. I mean, not the headers, the harvesters. So I've shown the money and I've shown the harvesters. So that right there, guys, is pretty much this video. Let me know what you guys think about this. And let me also know if you guys are planning on using these harvesters as realistic or unrealistic. These are still some nice harvesters if you don't, even if you don't plan on using it unrealistically. Uh, also, guys, if you guys did like the video, a like would be appreciated. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth.